Nightmare Dragon Gaming. Wow, oh, that on was... another tangent. Yeah, that worked off. A... Worked out better than I thought it would. All right. But uh, so you were saying about uh, Seal of War Calcos, Yugi's World. <laughs> I remember you were like so pumped about that. Oh, I was. You were like super. That excited. was like one of the packs that like I watched tons of pack opening videos of just to like th th before it was released. Wait, wait. What was in it? Oh, my leg! <laughs> my leg! What's <laughs> wrong with you? Who did that? My eyes! My eyes! And also my leg, but mostly my eyes! Bald! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to run you over. Your ass Blaster gets on the field. Scald! 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 Very nice. Right? Um, oh, okay, so that's what we do. Oh. Okay, but yeah, you were saying. No, that, that, that's, that's about it. See... You say, like, favorite Pokemon, I feel like that's a lot more easy for me. Here, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like, there's so freaking many. Yeah. But... Well, you know, as, like, uh, speaking of, like, packs you watch, like, hundreds of pack openings for, you know what I saw a ton tons of pack openings for? Hmm. That one, like, so, what's replaced the Waking the, the Dragon stuff, excuse me, is, like, uh, Legendary Duelists, which is essentially, they take, like, one or two, uh, like, no, like three old school archetypes, and then they give them more support. For example, uh, they made a Joey one where it was all so it had re it had the new red eyes stuff. Yeah. But it also had Amazonas and oh, it had Amazonas, Cyberdark, and Mako Tsunami Legendary Fisherman stuff. Oh, was that the stuff where like the the Harpy support came out in? No, or was that a different pack? That came out in Tachyon Galaxy, actually. Okay, because I, I remember for a while, like, Harpies Harp were actually really good. Well, you know why they were really good? <laughs> Draco Sack. True. <laughs> they had a really... Oh, yeah, because they... they, they they're they all wind. The, they're the all seven. wind. Yeah, and they're also all wind. <laughs> so... But, yeah, so uh, I watched a lot of pack openings of that, because the Red Eyes stuff was so friggin' expensive. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah? You're telling me this guy is dressed to the nines in Slowbro merch, but then he throws out a Lickitung. They're both pink. <laughs> also, you want to tell them your Lickitung story? No, I really don't. <laughs> please, please do. So, yeah, wait, break, break. Break, break. Okay. He's a normal type. Okay. So, yeah, so me being the naive child I was, I blindly trusted my cousins to, <laughs> and uh, what they'd do is they'd have me uh, go over to random people at our parties, and I do this thing called like, lick where I take my arm and just run, run it up their back, and then run away. <laughs> and it is the stupidest thing. All right, I, I'm pleased. He's pleased. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, favorite fusion monsters. Favorite fusion. I'm trying to think of like something that. Oh, the fr maybe like fright for a tiger. Really? Maybe. What's some fusions I've used a lot? Not even for me. Like, are you kidding me? What? What about and you use Cyber Dragons? Like, oh, right! I always forget the Cyber Dragon stuff. Maybe Cyber End Dragon. Why didn't you skull? It's okay. Grunt's got him. But yeah, yeah, I forgot about Cyber End Dragon. I'm like, maybe not, not, you, you you were Chimera maybe, Tech Over Dragon. For the most part, it seemed like, well, even though you got into it from 5Ds, uh, I jumped backwards into GX. Event. Yeah, you seem more like a GX boy. Although, what's well, the thing? All the like, not all, the other thing. I like the individual cards in uh, in Five Ds, but none of the decks really interest me in Five Ds. Like TGs, Black Wings, Junk, like nothing. No, oh, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was you. No. I'm like, does he know? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, like none of the like TG, Black Wing, Junk, Resonator. None of that really like well, resonated with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Although, although I'm liking the Resonators now, mostly because of the Red Dragon Archfiend connection. Which, by the way, Red Dragon Archfiend is definitely my favorite Synchro monster. Well, I I know what it's called. Now, hold on. It, 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 clear this up for me. Okay. Because I know you said you saw Red Dragon Archfiend on the TV, but you also saw Grappa in a structure deck at the store. Which which was the, the dragon that got you into Yu-Gi-Oh? Okay. Here's the order of events. Yeah, yeah. So, every morning, every Saturday morning, I get up early to watch Dino King, right? Mm -hmm. That Dinosaur King, excuse me. The, there's two different things. <laughs> but yeah, so I get up in the morning to watch Dinosaur King. And occasionally it would be Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds or Yu-Gi-Oh! like, original. Yeah. Now, 
I remember first I saw Rex Raptor using dinosaur monsters, and I was like, oh, maybe this actually looks pretty interesting. Then I looked into it, and I was like, meh. I, it was like a thing, like I looked quickly on eBay, and then I was like done with it. But then, over the time, over time, I see 5Ds where Jack Atlas and his Red Dragon Archfiend, Akiza with her Black Rose Dragon, and oh my gosh, what was it? Uh, Hundred Eyes Dragon. But but in, red, red Dragon was like the kind of well, gateway what drug. Well, what, ha what happened was I made card games as a kid, and then I'd always throw in three dragons. Well, no, I'd always throw in two dragons. There was like, I had like, I call it Cyclops Dragon, but it was just Hundred Eyes Dragon. Yeah. And then I'd call it like Red Dragon, but it was just Red Dragon Archfiend. <laughs> Yeah, and then, yeah, I was, I was kind of true, but I was, like, I was like, I just watch it, you know? But then, I look at, I look, I'm in the store, and I was like, I was like, on the verge of it. And then I see Grapha, and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why were, I remember Mom! <laughs> <laughs> I need this! <laughs> well, I, I remember... Although I didn't actually get, my first pack wasn't, yeah. wasn't the Grapha structure deck, which is weird. But because I got the Epic Dawn booster pack, which I'm like, I'm well, yeah, gonna we, get we, so many awesome cards. I open my, open my first pack, I see Naturia Strawberry. Because you and I got in around Zexel. Yes. Uh, Joey Skull. <laughs> Skull. All right. Um, but I, I remember telling you, I I remember, I used to, I didn't like Yu-Gi-Oh. I liked the concept of Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> when I was very little, because. I remember seeing my first card that I saw was Superconductor Tyranna. Yes. And I thought that was so badass. It's a very badass card. And I begged my parents for the for the for the deck and everything. The was it uh, something Rampage? Dinosaur Rampage? I think so. They sound like that. Um. And you know I, I collected them. They they used to give the actually. Give, wait, speaking of which, yeah, yeah. Did you ever see the, the the new Dinosaur Structure deck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. competitively viable. Really? Lots of them have been doing it with the structure decks recently. Like all of them, you just buy three of them and you're a-okay to go. Huh. Like with this latest one that they made, they added in a new one based around fire monsters called Salaman Grace. Yeah. And they're a link strategy, but gosh, they're OP. But uh, yeah, I, and I remember I got that, and then I'm gonna switch them. You should. Uh, this one looks funny with the two Gyarados. Uh, Carrot. Yeah, but I remember, uh, I used to also get them from. McDonald's. McDonald's, where they had things like th the first big eye, to, 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 to clarify. Um, uh, and then, like, uh, Water Dragon, or is it Aqua Dragon? What, the, the Fusion. Oh, the one where you attribute the two Hydro Get On and the one Oxy Get On? Yeah, That's yeah. That's Water Dragon, yeah. Um, Scud. Sc oh, that, yeah, yeah. It's Water yeah. Flying, Joe. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. He's gonna get his ass uh -huh, crunched. Uh -huh. The one sad thing about Gyarados is like he's water flying, like so like super he's weak to electric. <laughs> he's so awesome, and then like you put him up against the electric track and he's... <laughs> just switch him out. Then <laughs> I mean, true. It's that easy. But uh, oh, oh, <laughs> not my little Scud. Not the Scud. Not my Scud. Anywho, so um, but yeah. And, and, and at the time, I just kind of you know, I I was like, oh, it's cool because it's it, it's shiny. Well, it was the same way with Pokemon cards. I didn't know the game, I was just like, ooh, Pokemon. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's, it's like Bakugan at first. You, you think I was collecting them? Like, well, you, you told me late, later, you're like, you want to play some Bakugan? And I'm like, there's a game to that? <laughs> <laughs> well, and like, but like, I, and I remember, I told Eric about this. I put all of them in this, in this, mm. in, in this purple bin, and I put them by my window. <laughs> well, I left my window open, and I don't know if any of you know this, but paper and water aren't a good combo. And it rained. And it rained. And they all just melded together like one big like mass. It, it was bad. And like I tried salvaging them, but every time I went to peel them off, it would just tear the card. Oh, and so that like sucks. That, it crushed me. I can imagine. For a little bit, but then I went on. <laughs> <laughs> My heart will go on. And then then later on, I went to uh, this the store called Unique Gifts and Games. It's now Gift of Games. Uh, it's sad to see it go, but it, it, the, the new owner at least, seemed really cool. At least the spirit is still there. Yeah. Uh, and we were meeting up with a bunch of boys from Scouts uh, to learn how to play Magic. Well, I got there, and everyone was kind of already in their matches, so they didn't really have time to teach me and everything. And then I saw this kid. This schmo over here. <laughs> sitting alone, playing with his Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, you want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm like, sure. And, and from that point, he was, and the funny thing, like, after that, like, 
more and more pe people started bringing in their Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and then we end up playing Yu-Gi-Oh way more than we ever played Magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You started a revolution, Eric. I did. Brick break. Yeah. But, man, we got off topic. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh well. We had a cool. We had some cool stories to tell. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I definitely <clears throat> wish that, you know, I, I, I was still into it. I. Yeah. I don't know. I. I you get the chance to be. I know. It's Card just, game club at, at CLC. I don't know. It's just the, the current state of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's it's. Joey? Yeah? I don't see why you're complaining. You've only got two decks to re to revamp. I have like 18. See, I, I was smart. I got you were it. smart. I, I got into Zexel and then got out after Zexel. <laughs> you well, were there! Okay, okay no, I, I was there for a little bit for Arc V. Yeah, because with Pen... You hated Shadals. Well, and I, I remember... The sad thing that I... I <gasps> there it is! <laughs> the thing I feel really guilty for is that, like, I started Satella Knights... Or, t or Teller Knights. You didn't even really start them. No, I, I actually got quite a few of the cards. Really? Yeah, but but then I just gave up because no one else was playing anymore. So, I would have like, played. Well, if it, you brought your ding dang cards. Oh, and that's and that's the thing. You know. Okay, all right, go. Oh wow, <laughs> that's some good timing. Yeah, but like that was the thing, and, and, and like I feel guilty because I'm like I spent money on these cards. And I'm never gonna use them. Yeah. Especially now, because now they're not even really viable anymore. Well, I don't really care about viability, I just kind of use them, you know. Like, my Evil Swarms. Now that the fact that mo- here's the thing. Evil Swarms are now co almost completely irrelevant, because no one ha- So here's the thing. No oh, one uses levels anymore. Well, because Lynx and Xyz- Yeah. Okay, Xyz are less prevalent, but Lynx are like the new- like the, People are like actually like really using them now. They're not just using that so they- They're not just using them so they can, you know- I mean, use their it, other monsters. They're using them because they're actually good. In, in, in a big portion of the reason why I built like Teller Knights was just because like I felt like they were like the next version of Constellars, which was one of my favorite decks. Yeah. You know, but but at the same time, I feel like they it, they were still really cool. Don't get me wrong, but they they could never like recreate the magic I had with Constellars. You know, I, okay. So I'm look. So I was looking at our old top ten list. Yeah. And I find it so funny. Oop. Hang on. Come on, Joe. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> yeah, right? Are we at the Elite? This is the League. Really? This is the Pokemon League. We're already here? Yeah, we're already here. I told you we're probably gonna finish it this uh, this session. And I'm gone? <laughs> yeah, you're you're dead. <laughs> I want to say that. Uh, uh. Why does my character always look angry? <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Pika. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm counting on you. No, no pressure. <laughs> Like, I know I have, like... The thing is, I'm not really gonna... I'm probably not gonna use them that much. I know I have 20 other Pokemon, but no pressure. It's all on you. Wait, hold on. Are you sure you, don't, are you, sure you don't want to switch out? Or, or, like... What? Like, is there even a center nearby or no? Oh, no, there is... The, the center's in the in the thing. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no, of course. They're not gonna do that. You yeah, know, there's, right there's one right over here. <laughs> it's the Chump Chansey. The Chump Chansey. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, but, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was looking at our old, like, top tens, and it's kind of funny. One turny to Bernie, and one Chansey to Dancy. <laughs> okay. Continue. I found it hilarious looking at the top ten, like, you know, fair, favorite and least favorite decks. Yeah. Because, oh my gosh. Like, so you know how you said you only had, like, two, three decks? Yeah. Yeah, and that that's really showed, because everything except for Constellar, Heroic, and Yugi was, like, what? <laughs> like, you've never talked about this deck, ever. Yeah, I remember, like, I, I you remember were I said Ojama, and I'm like, Joey, you're never gonna build Ojama. Like, yeah, like, what You all... just like Chaz because he's the jerk of the series and he's cool. Yeah, and if anything, you know, I can sell the polished mud ball that Scud gave me. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well, I just remember how, how like, BS Ojamas were when like yeah wasn't there like this one guy he wasn't even like part of our group really he was I, just at like well Liam extreme... had him for a while no he didn't I thought he did no he had ba battling boxers 
Or did or did Will's friend have him, Justin? No, it wasn't Justin. It was the, uh, there was this one guy, a rather. Uh, they don't know who we're talking about. Why would see? <laughs> there was a rather heavy set gentleman, at um, at Extreme Games for the longest time, and That's he would. Extreme. Yeah, he was always there whenever we were there. I think he was like a friend of Sam's or something, oh. and. Yeah, he played Ojamas for a while. Sam is the He was the one guy who was like, he didn't he didn't let people proxy cards. Sam is the one guy I've continuously run into out of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> shout I, out to Sh to to Sham. To Sham. <laughs> shout out to Sam. And we will see Sam next time. <laughs>